Hey guys, I'm Kings, and we're back with some more Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind. Alright, continuing from where we left off, we need to now go inside the cave, which we have done, and talk to Veya. Alright. What do you think of my luxurious accommodations? It's got dirt and rock, fungus, and a poultry fire. You got fungus? Lucky. Anyway, you said you had information about my brother, Auron. What did you find out? No. That can't be right. Uran's honorable and noble. He's a model soldier. So what everyone keeps saying. He done to warrant being banished. Um, killed somebody? My brother has always been interested in the Ashlanders. Even showed them a kindness the rest of the house doesn't approve of. But for him to kill someone, especially one of his own soldiers, something terrible must have happened. Hmm. I wonder. I the tribe that Uran liked to help brought them supplies and such. He'd go and visit their camp whenever our father wasn't paying attention. Will you go with me to talk to them? Wait, someone's coming. She can handle herself just fine, hero. Vea, grab your things. It's time to go. Go? Why? What's going on? The war claws are marching toward this cave along with half the House Redwin soldiers and Balmora. We need to go now. Damn it. They must have followed us. I'll get my stuff. Well, I guess uh, they're going to show up before uh, she can actually get her stuff. Ah, uh, dealing with an arrogant, impatient, overconfident young woman. Now I know how my mother must have felt. <laughs> we need to move. It won't take those damn cats long to find this place, not with their sense of smell. The back tunnels. Better than heading out the front door and right into the main contingent of Redder and troops. Councillor Eris brought additional soldiers from town. He's intent on getting his daughter, and he may have the numbers to do it. Okay. One more thing. The back tunnels wind their way through territory that House Redderhand recently acquired. We may run into some resistance, but it shouldn't be as bad as what's waiting outside the front of the cave. Hmm. Well, I'm ready to go. How about you guys? Look, there's a backpack up here. And just some water. I was hoping for like uh, something good. Uh, oh, oh, ah, sack. There we go. Uh, any other goodies in here that might be in here? What the heck is that? It was just a regular spider. I was like, what the heck? Freak me out, there a little bit. Does the ceiling look unstable to you? Maybe a little. Harder to shake than a blind date. <laughs> okay. Some bugs just uh, crawling all on the ground. Taken back to my father. Not when I'm this close to finding my brother. Hmm. Don't see any bad guys yet. What's up here? A jewelry box. Mm. Huh. Nothing really interesting. I just thought it was kind of random. Huh. There's no bad guys down here. I thought there was going to be. I just hope there aren't any red ones up there. Could be. We'll find out. Alright, we're out of the cave now. Don't see any guards. Oh, look, there's some right there. Oh no, we're surrounded. And that's my father. What's he doing here? Sweep the caves. If you spot Maya, report back to me. She's not to be harmed. I prefer that you father ruins everything. <laughs> I'm so close to finding my brother, and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. You, you... Do that for me. Thanks. I guess. You guess. What can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. 
<laughs> Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. All right. Once I find Oran and make sure he's all right, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. That should buy us some time. All right, we'll see how this goes. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, who goes there? Stand down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. Tell me, have you seen my daughter? I won't sleep well until she's home, safe and sound. I also said that the captain has his own resources. The war claws report to Bribbon, not me. Mm -hmm. We're all just trying to get my daughter home safely. Now, tell me what Vea's thinking. It was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. <laughs> I won't. So, where and when will Vea meet with me? Okay, it looks like she asked me to do one more thing. She asked me to do one more thing, and then she'll be ready to meet you, apparently. Very well. We'll do this her way. Vea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Vea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Briven do this his way. Okay. I'll let her know that. I command, and let them pass. Alright, well let's see where we need to go. It looks like there's a waypoint up here, so I kind of want to go up there and get it. I also have a quest right here, so we'll set that as active. Hmm. Well, we'll go up here. Um, that Ashlander camp uh, mission will probably have uh, some something uh, extra uh, to do there, so I kind of want to... What the heck was that? A cliff strider. Well, I'm going to kind of ignore it and uh, go this way. demand to see my brother lay hands upon me and you will lose them okay whoa damn you just there. kicked their the butts territory of the red exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly ashlanders once respected each other helped one another you'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs the way they treated me speaking of the tribunal you have the smell of dog about you. I wonder why that is. Ouch. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. Um, are they using that as a racial slur? Ashlanders are nomads. But we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. My brother Everyone's looking for their brother, apparently, the today. Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. Head into the Red Exiles camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. No, just our tribe, the Urshilaku. Though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. He does hope to unite the tribes in a common cause, however. That's one of the reasons we've gathered here at Aldrin. Hmm. As you saw, hostility is second nature to the Red Exiles. Alright, is that all I need? Do I have to talk to her some more? I don't think so. Alright. Let's make sure I'm going the right direction. Let's go to the Way Shrine first. So that's like right over here. Everybody and their horses make me all jealous and such. 
Looks like there's a uh, skill point, or not skill point, but a uh, quest giver over here, which is uh, oh, come in handy. Fellow outsider in this inhospit, Drelleth Hilaron of House Redoran at your service. Though I doubt I'll be very useful here. This is Ashlander country, and they've made it clear I'm not welcome. It's my fault, really. I made a mess of their customs when I arrived. I'm How'd you do that? For my family's ancestral tomb, you see. My research led me here to Aldrin. It's hard to believe, but I think my family may have settled here for a time. When I arrived, I immediately started asking questions. I was overzealous. Unfortunately, yes. Hmm. I wonder if we might aid each other. Despite my missteps, I do know a great deal about Ashlander culture. I could help you earn their favor. In return, you could find out if they know anything about my family's too. Okay, I'll see what happens. Pay respect to Farsia Quanta. She walks the red path this year, and it's customary to wish her well. Request to take part in the offering to the first Ashkans. Do that, and you should be able to ask their wise woman about the tomb. Okay, we'll uh, go and do that. Okay, do I want to go do this quest first, or do I want to get these done first? I should probably get this done first. I'll come back here and uh, finish this quest as well, but we're going to do this one. Uh, I don't think we're going the right way. Yeah, that's one we want. We want to find that uh, Siren's brother, so this is the one we want to go to. Okay. The guy has a leopard following him. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm not going to sprint anymore because uh, there could be uh, bad guys here. And I want to save my stamina for combat. Hmm, don't see any bad guys though. Bunch of random stuff. Soul gem, cool. Jewelry box, what do we got? Bone. Is that another soul gem up here? I'll take that as well. Empty backpack. Alright, this is the scroll we're looking for. Well, that was a lot of text there, I just didn't want to read it. Okay, so, where does it want us to go now? Back down this way. Okay, so we just need to go talk to her. Let's avoid uh, the enemies if we can. You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Yep. Did you find my brother? No. Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh, no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Hmm. Now he believes he's a Nerevarian and incites the tribes while I try to keep them all from doing anything rash. What is it? I don't know. I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander. And the house elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the tribunal, before they claimed to be gods, until they betrayed him. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima, and forged an alliance with the Dwema. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. The Nerevarin is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar will be known as the Nerevarin, Huh. While the prophecy of the Nerevarin can be interpreted as the end of the tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevarin I believe in. He uses an Ashkhan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers, 
Ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. That His words doesn't sound good. Forceful every day, but I hope to dissuade him from this violent course. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness, more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. Okay, so what are we doing? I'm not exactly sure what she wants me to do. Alright, we're gonna go and uh, do the quest for what's his face up here. Um, let's get this uh, marker off the map. We don't need it. Not exactly sure what she wants me to do. But uh, maybe if we go and complete that extra quest uh, that that has uh, like an attachment to it, we'll, maybe, maybe we'll find out. Who knows? There's a lot of guards here. Well, that's a pretty cool looking uh, house that they have built. Hmm. Your footsteps are as loud as a kagoodie's. What is it you want, Outlander? Have you now? Then you have my thanks and my curiosity also. Outsiders rarely show us such respect. When they do, it is always because they want something. <laughs> what do you want, I wonder? Remarkable. You would honor our ancestors. Very well. I give you my blessing. You hesitate. Shall I explain the custom? Each of the four great tribes seek a unique and worthy offering. You must place the gift at the foot of each Ashkan's cairn. For Ahemusa, an ashen fern. For Erebininsum, the weapon of an exile slain by your hand. For Urshilaku, the bones of a Gua return to ash. And for Zainab, the hidden treasure of a Kwama queen. We will see how much fire you hold in your heart. Yes, though becoming is a clumsy word for it. Every daughter of Belarth has worth. When we learn to speak with our water tongue and read the truth in the stone, water tongue. we also learn the truth of our hearts. The truth is, we have been wise all along. Um, well, if you say so. So, it looks like all the things that we need are around the coast. Not exactly sure if they're all right, relatively right there. Looks like I have another quest up there. That's where the jeweled thingy majig is. But we'll go here first. Let's put a marker on it so we know which one we're going to head towards. And we'll go see what's what. Um, also, I kind of want to check my inventory space. What is it at right now? Okay, I got plenty of inventory space. Just want to check just in case I needed to sell something. But it doesn't look like I need to. Alright, we'll go to this first uh, first marker, and then we'll call it an episode. Um, lava doesn't look good. Let's uh, try to go around it. Hmm. Let's look at the map here. We might need to follow this road. Oops, got stuck on a little rocky there. What was that? Something made a weird noise. Okay, this should lead us to what we're looking for. And some weird spiders up there. Alright, I'm almost there. Alright, cool. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe, guys. 
and I will see you guys in the next one.